There have been loads of TikTok videos going around showing secret codes being entered into phones and you guys have been asking, are these fake or are these real? So what are these codes and can they be used to track you without your permission? Well, we're gonna find out. Let's do this. Every phone around the world has these secret codes that you can enter when you type in a specific sequence of numbers. So let's dive into that. What are these codes in the first place? Well, these codes are known as MMI supplementary service codes and USSD codes or unstructured supplementary service data. Say that five times quickly. They are secret in as much as the fact that they aren't typically accessed via the phone's menu options, but it is quick Google search and you will be able to find them. So not so secret. Now, in order to enter these codes, what you do is you open up the phone's dialer and then you type in a sequence, something like star, hash, a number, and then a hash or a pound key. I'm not sure how you refer to it in your country. These codes will either show you some information straight off the phone or these codes will issue a command to your carrier and return with a message. Now, those are the ones we need to be most concerned about. And let me show you why. When somebody wants to track you, read your message or spy on you, they don't have to be working for the government or be an elite hacker. All they need is a couple of minutes with your phone. There are typically two things that they could do. The first is install a spyware app. There are plenty of these online and they're typically being marketed as keep track of your kids or your elderly parents. But let's be honest, a lot of people use them to keep track on their other half. Now, if you're concerned that somebody has installed one of these tracking apps on your phone, stay tuned and I'm gonna show you how to check for that. Now, the second way of hacking a phone, and I'm using this term very lightly, is by using this USSD codes. I'm gonna show you these in codes so you can check if somebody has loaded these on your phone. Do not go and load these on somebody else's phone. That is illegal and uh, just don't do it. There are loads and loads of USSD codes. The one you really want to be focusing on is the call forwarding option. The reason for it is that if somebody can call forward, divert your calls to a premium rated numbers, that is not a regular cell phone number, but one that is charged at a much higher rate for every minute that you spend online. And guess what? If they do that on your phone, you're picking up the tab for that. The other reason to focusing on this particular call forwarding or call diversion Let's say your other half has installed this on your phone. Essentially what it means every time you get a call, it's gonna be forwarded to their number and they're gonna keep a track on who's phoning you, how often and when. Now, I know what you're thinking, hold on, if you, surely if all my calls are being forwarded, I'm going to know about that, right? Yes, that is technically correct. However, this is where USSD comes in. Because with USSD, you can set the call diversions to only happen under specific circumstances. Easier to show you. Okay, so open up your phone dialer and then type into the dialer star hash 61 hash. This will show you if your calls are being forwarded when you don't answer your phone. Now, if you see a number in there, and that means that every time you don't answer your phone, that is going to be diverted. Now to switch this off, all you have to do is then simply type hash hash six one hash. Right, next up, try star hash six two hash. This will forward calls when your phone is unreachable. Let's just say you're stuck on a plane somewhere. You can turn this off by typing hash hash six two hash. Next up, let's try star hash six seven hash. If your phone is busy or you reject a call, typically you think it's going to voicemail, no big deal. But in actual fact, if someone has put that diversion on, you'll be able to see it right here. And to turn it off, just simply type in hash hash six seven hash. Now, the one thing I would 100% switch on is scam blocking. Type in hash seven eight seven hash to see if you have this enabled already. If you don't, hash six six two hash that enables it and all of these will be in the description below along with a couple of links and the reason for that is not all cellular providers around the world have the exact same ussd codes so in the description i've got links to at&t verizon and t-mobile 
I simply discovered it by going to Google, typing in the cellular carrier's name, space, USSD codes, and then there are loads and loads of these. Now, if you're still concerned that somebody has loaded one of these spy apps on your phone, check out this video right over here, which I show you how to check if your phone has been hacked. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in these videos. Let's go.